All right, let's have a look at the Kappa feature and formwork. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to dive into Kappas. And uh, I think one interesting aspect about this is that people often ask us about, well, how much can we like customize formwork and create custom forms and everything? And the default answer to that is like, no, nope, you can't custom anything. This is very opinionated software. It either works for you or it doesn't. And that kind of makes the software, I think, very different from other um, like enterprise uh, EQMS software in the market. So let me show you why this makes sense from our perspective. And um, as an example in the Kappa feature, why this actually could be uh, really great for you and your company if you want to get stuff done quickly, which um, I'm not too sure about, of course, you could use other software and be slow. All right, so now we ship this Kappa feature here in Formwork. You can find it in the QMS section if you scroll down to, well, you guessed it, Kappas. And uh, let's actually go through this workflow and create a Kappa so you can see, obviously, we don't have any right now. So we click on New, and then it's like New Kappa. And you can kind of see the form is already completely defined for you. You can't customize anything. We kind of like create this for you and say like, yes, this is an ISO 13485 compliant Kappa form. Um, please don't customize it because you'll, you'll screw things up. And you, you also like, this is the minimalistic implementation. This is exactly what, what you need to be compliant. So you didn't really like need to change anything there. Um, anything else would only be over engineering it. So here, like let's enter a title. So um, title for Kappa, something bad happened. Um, and then there's the description, like, I don't know, like um, something really bad, All right? And now you can also like select documents and records to link this to, and I won't go into much detail here. Kappas can be related to processes. Processes can be uh, described in your documents, of course. But the important thing here is that the form really like, for, like, like shows you how to like create this Kappa and actually explain stuff to you. It tells you like, hey, if you're just creating it, you literally just need the title and the description for now, and you can come back later and do all the other stuff. And I think that's very really important. So the software also, actually teaches you what a Kappa is and how to fill it out. So let's actually take this advice and go ahead and just skip, uh, skip down um, and, and save it because um, that's what the software tells us to do. And now I think this is very interesting. So now we like create this like visual overview of your Kappa, which you have right now. Obviously it's been created right now. So you see this progress bar, which is kind of like at the beginning and you see all the other steps, root cause analysis, actions defined and so on and so on which uh, should be like coming up in the future. Now, the interesting thing is if you had like hyper customizable EQMS, um, an EQMS software, do you think you could build something like this, like a nice progress bar calculation of days in between explanatory text in the form? I just don't think so. That's why I think my personal opinion is an opinionated approach makes a lot of sense here. If you're a small company and are interested in minimalistic workflows. So how does this like uh, move forward? So you can actually see, we can go back and edit it and let's actually go back and edit it. And the workflow would be, okay, you come by, uh, come back some sometime in the future um, to like complete this Kappa. So like maybe it was related to hmm, your declaration of conformity or so um, and some other records in your technical documentation. I'll skip ahead now. And then you can like complete the root cause analysis. So you have this date picker here. So um, we'll co complete it. Let's do it actually today. Hmm, what's the date today? January 11th. And then here you can enter like some, some text about the root cause analysis. And let's just go ahead and say, actually save this again to see how it looks. So now you can actually see it calculated the duration from creation, which was just, just right now to root cause analysis, which was also today. So that's obviously zero days. The progress bar has moved on and that's a great outcome, right? We're making great progress here. And I think like there's some very interesting things to note here too. So for example, if I kind of like more or less misuse the system and I kind of like say, oh, I'm going to validate this right now. So I like go back to the edit screen and go to validation and set that to, let's set that to tomorrow. So like January 12th. That's generally possible. So it's going to like show you, um, it's going to show you like, yes, this is validated. That's why it's blue, but the progress bar isn't going to move forward because well, the next action you should actually be doing is actions like defining actions um, with this milestone actions defined. And it also can't calculate any of these days, right? Because like the preceding and the um, subsequent um, steps simply aren't completed. So I think this is really cool because it kind of like 
like like cautiously guides you through actually creating a complete kappa. So let's go ahead and actually fill this out completely. So bear with me, this will be kind of like a bit painful. So let's just um, let's just actually do most of these things today, so we don't like trip up that system. Um, and that's actually, oh yeah, let's actually set a deadline. This is actually really cool. You can set like a specific deadline, which is like a date in the future, or you can set like a text deadline, which might be counterintuitive, but which is actually very useful where you can, for example, say like, okay, with our next product release, that's the deadline, but we don't know when that's going to be, right? Um, by the way, this was a uh, suggestion by Sven, who knows way more about Kappas than I do. But for now, let's actually set uh, um, a date deadline to maybe one month from now, February 1st. Um, and let's just skip ahead all the other stuff. So now if you go back like to the overview, um, you can actually see it calculates um, when the deadline is going to be. That's actually in 21 days from now. And I think this is actually really helpful because you can go through this list and kind of have a look like, oh, um, when's like the next deadline coming up for my next kappa? Because here I can filter by open or closed kappa. So if I look at open kappas, we'll obviously see this. If I filter for closed kappas, we won't be seeing this. But the workflow I think is really cool. You can like click on open and, and go through like this deadline text and say like, oh, like um, how much time, like what's the next upcoming kappa like deadline wise. So I think this is really cool. Anyway, let's just wrap this up really quickly. Otherwise, I um, I feel like we're never getting getting done here. So let's like do the verification for this. Set that to today. And of course, with each field, uh, with each step, you can also like add a, a detailed explanation, which you should you, sh you should probably be doing this. Um, I'm not a great example here right now. Save it. And I can see. Okay, great. The progress bar is like almost done. But you can see. Wait, it's actually not closed yet. And that's also like, I think a very interesting design decision here with a Kappa being validated, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's closed. You have to like manually close it. Um, and how do you do that? You do that with our signing workflow, which is in my opinion, really cool. And which is kind of like also FDA, I always forget it, 21 CFR Part 11 um, e-signature compliant. So um, what do I mean by that is we actually had this for records in the past. So if you scroll down, you know, you see this release box and you see like, okay, well, obviously I created this uh, today, but you can also now e-sign this. And if you do an electronic signature of this, this automatically closes it, which I think is really cool. So actually let's go through that workflow right now. So if I hit release, this like very fancy uh, password dialog comes up and it says like, yeah, entering super user mode. We have super user mode for like, I guess like actions which are important or could be destructive, which is like signing stuff, but also like adding new users to your account or changing your billing settings. Um, so I'm going to re-enter my password here, continue. And you can actually see great, the release dialog popped open now, which actually is above the Kappa. Um, and then if you're actually migrating to Formwork, you actually get this option, which you see right here, like for customers migrating to Formwork, we said like we, we give them a setting that they can release in the past to migrate old release dates into our system. But once that's done, that option kind of disappears and you can only release now. So actually let's do that right now. Release right now, you can add a release comment. Release comment, great release. Release comment, this makes a lot of sense. Release it. And we're all good, right? So the progress bar is completely done. Everything's blue. You can go back to Kappas, same here. It is shown now if I filter by closed Kappas, it's of course not in the open Kappas list anymore. So that's really cool. And I think one other cool thing also is like you can like every record, you can amend this. And we also have like automatic documentation of amendments. So now if I want to edit this, I can actually do so, but it tells me like, yeah, you're actually amending it. So I go to here. And then it says like, oh my God, you're amending something which is already released. You should probably add this comment. You actually have to add a comment here. And like, I don't know, I made a huge typo mistake and corrected it. So let's correct something in here. Okay, correct it. And we save it. And then the cool thing is if you actually go to the release history at the bottom here, you see the release comment, the initial release comment but also the amendment comment, which I just added. So you have like this amendment history of releases and also of course the person who did it. All right, so that's the Kappa workflow in a nutshell. I think, uh, I kind of hope that you actually think this is just as cool as I think it is. Um, I think like 
manually customizable systems, whatever you're using, which have like a kind of like a form builder approach where you create these things manually, they just don't come close to like the, I guess, elegance of this workflow because it really covers everything extremely well. And it's very easy, very easy to understand. Um, so I think this is really cool. Like if you want to try it out, feel free to reach out. Always happy to give um, to give Formwork Plus trials. This is part of our Formwork Plus package. Um, and if you don't like it, let me know why. But other than that, looking forward to hearing your feedback about this and seeing you guys trying this out.